Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your American Cruise Lines experts. And today, I have the pleasure of getting to share the beautiful American Symphony with you. If you're not familiar with the American Cruise Lines river boats, they are truly exceptional. Incredible passenger to space ratios, amazing food, inclusions, but it's all about destination immersion. When you really wanna dig in to the small towns and communities of America, whether it's on the Mississippi River, the Ohio, or even up in the Pacific Northwest, the Northeast, or into Alaska, American Cruise Lines has a fleet designed specifically for each and every single destination. All the ships are built in America. They're US crewed, which I think makes it truly exceptional to explore America with an amazing American crew that has so much insight to share with you. It's incredibly inclusive, as I mentioned, but what's really unique compared to a large cruise ship or even other river cruise companies is they're gonna go out into the local communities each and every single day to get that fresh produce, those fresh catches, all the delectable options that they offer locally. It's all regional cuisine, of course, they have all of your favorites as well. But another unique thing, even though it's not a large ship, it has an incredible space ratio, they're also gonna bring on local entertainment. Maybe it's a jazz trio from here in New Orleans where we are today, or maybe as you head up the river, they're gonna have different exciting options, maybe even an Elvis tribute as you head out and explore Graceland. Now, American Cruise Lines has amazing themed cruises. They also are gonna have cruises through all of the rivers in the Pacific Northwest, as I mentioned. They even have cruises on the intercoastal. Now we're gonna specifically dig into the American Symphony today, one of their modern river boats. Let me take you on board and show you what it's all about. Now we've started off up here on deck five, which is the sun deck. So this is that passenger viewing area. So you're gonna find that there's a large walking track that goes all the way around. It's a great way to start your morning or maybe walk off that dinner. Once again, while you're sailing, what's exceptional about that is you're part of the environments around you. What I love so much about a river cruise and specifically an American Cruise Lines river cruise is that you get into all those smaller destinations to explore, but as you're cruising, part of that exploration is happening. You're meeting new people. It's a wonderful way to meet new friends here on board, but also you're taking in all of the amazing views and you're really seeing what life is like on the river. Now also up here, you're gonna find quite a few different lounge areas. So the extra comfy overstuffed lounge furniture here, you've got sofas, you've got the love seats and chairs, coffee table in the middle there. And you're also going to have tables and chairs up here. It's that perfect place to play a game, relax, have a cocktail, or like I mentioned, as you're cruising through different parts of the Mississippi, in this case, maybe up in the Ohio or wherever it is that you're heading, what you're going to be able to do is be part of the enrichment process. So a lot of American Cruise Lines experience is about that lifelong learning. It's about learning about where you're going, then experiencing it, tasting it, touching it, feeling it, and getting to know the people. So you really get an in-depth experience, but you also get a delicious way to explore. The cuisine here on board is exceptional. And I'm gonna take you down to a couple places where you're going to experience that. Now, as we continue to head forward, you're gonna find they have more loungers. Once again, you have really nice, high quality furniture up here, large pads for the loungers there. You also have some chairs with ottomans right around the corner more tables and chairs, and then you'll also notice that they have shade structures. Now they can put those down when they need to, depending on where they're sailing to, but what you can see is there's plenty of space to spread out. And that's really what this particular experience is all about. At 180 passengers for a ship of this size, you're gonna have in some cases double or triple the passenger space ratios that you'll find on some of their competitors. But even more than that, what you're really gonna find is that you're always going to be relaxed comfortable, and of course, the crew members are gonna take great care of you. Now, I just stepped down a few steps to deck four, and in the aft of the ship, you're gonna find the Ellipse Cafe. Now, this is a really popular destination for breakfast and lunch each and every single day. It's gonna be more of a light bite. You can grab a breakfast sandwich. Of course, you can get your grits or oatmeal. You can also choose from different options for lunch as well, but it's gonna be a little more casual, quicker service, but you always have the option to head down for breakfast, lunch, or dinner to the main restaurant if you wanna have a plated affair. But what's great about this is you've got that casual atmosphere, you'll have bar style seating on the far side, you have bar style seating on the back, and then you're also gonna have tables and chairs all the way around. Tucked up against the building itself, you're gonna find that you have some more lounge style seating. Once again, a wonderful place to sit back, relax with friends. Just forward of the Ellipse, you'll find the Sky Lounge. Now this is a really popular destination here on board. 
Of course, you can step inside and eat here if you want to do that for breakfast or lunch. You're also going to have the full bar set up here in the evening. It's a great place for cocktail hour. And you're also just going to find a great place to escape and get away. So you've got some libraries on either side where you can grab a book, really comfortable seating areas. We've got couch and two chairs over here. You've got tables, once again, for dining. And you also just have lots of spaces where you can curl up with a book, relax, and take advantage of those beautiful views. Now, one of the signatures of this space is the incredible skylight up above. In fact, one of the things that you're gonna find about this ship is that you have views from every single spot here on board, and you're also gonna have an incredible amount of natural light. They also have a similar atrium in the stairwell in the middle there. And what I've really appreciated is it just makes the entire ship always feel open, bright, and just a beautiful destination in and of itself. So once again, you're gonna have doors on either side where you can head on out to the ellipse if you wanna grab a bite there or relax. You can also step inside here. And once again, it's a great place for a pre-dinner cocktail. Now, another great feature you're gonna find in here is you've got this grab and go area. So you can make yourself an espresso, a cappuccino, any of your favorite coffee drinks. They also have a wide assortment of teas and of course, my favorite hot chocolate in there. You're gonna have quite a few different snacks that you can grab. You've got some cereals here, some different granola bars, Chex Mix, and then you're also gonna have water right there as well. Just underneath, you can grab some sodas. And then once again, later on in the evening, they'll have a hosted bar in here. Once again, another great option or great inclusion you're gonna find is that open bar concept. Heading forward on deck three, you're gonna find the River Lounge. Now, this is the living room here on board. It's where you're gonna be able to participate in all the different lectures. They've got a screen that'll come down and a large projector. So you're gonna find some of the best experts on the Mississippi River, wherever it is that you are visiting, that are gonna come here to enhance the experience. So not only are they going to share their insight with you, oftentimes they'll also head on land as well to participate in the excursions. Now you'll notice that you have a dance floor here. You also have a piano. They're gonna bring on some incredible entertainment options. And once again, as we spoke about earlier, it's all about destination immersion and being highly focused on regionality. So what you're gonna find right here in New Orleans, probably have some jazz in here. They're also gonna bring on some historians. And if you ever do stop by New Orleans, I do highly recommend that you check out the World War II Museum. It's absolutely incredible. But coming back to this space, what you're gonna find is, like I said, it's your living room. You've got huge windows looking out the very front of the ship so you can take advantage of those beautiful views. You've got floor to ceiling windows on the sides. You're gonna have comfortable seating all the way around. Once again, maintaining that amazing passenger to space ratio. That's really what sets American Cruise Lines apart in addition to having the relationships here so they can have the very best when it comes to entertainment and of course, when it comes to learning as well. But more than that, you're gonna find they really know the destinations better than anyone else. So you'll find you have more seating as we hop around. So you've got the sofas and chairs. So once again, smaller areas, you're gonna meet new people here on board. Of course, it's that great place to grab a drink before dinner as well. And speaking of that, tucked in the corner, you're gonna find the bar. Now you're gonna have an open bar concept here on board that you can take advantage of. Once again, whether it's for some of the entertainment or you just wanna sneak away during the day. I know my wife absolutely loves a space just like this because you have all the light. It's a perfect place for sewing, which is her favorite thing to do as we're heading down or up the Mississippi. Now you're also gonna find a similar snack station like we had upstairs. So you've got coffee and teas right here. You'll also have some chips and different granola bars you can grab. You've got sodas and juices stocked just underneath. The ice machine you can utilize anytime you like as well. Once again, this is the River Lounge where you're gonna find most of the entertainment. It's also where you're gonna find most of the enrichment. You can head here and enjoy it any time of the day. Set in the forward elevator bank, you're gonna find the atrium area here. So you've got a large glass ceiling once again. I love that concept that it lets all kinds of light in. You're also gonna have light coming from either side. Now, something that's unique about where they use this space is instead of putting more rooms in, they've added three lounges that are tucked behind the elevator area. And then on the opposite side, you're gonna find an outdoor seating area. In fact, those are some of my favorite outdoor seating areas you can kind of tuck away. They do have some tables and chairs as well. Now, each one of those is used for different things. You've got card rooms, it's a place to sit, relax, but also depending on where you're docking, you may be able to utilize that space to head on or off the ship. Let me take you inside and show you what those are all about. Now, the first of the three lounges is the High Note Lounge. What you're gonna see here is they've got chess set up, you've got Monopoly, you've got different kinds of board games and puzzles. Throughout our cruise, we'd often find that there'd be a puzzle set up here and people would kind of collaboratively work on it together. Now, if you wanna tuck away for a game, this is perfect for that. It's also a great place to read during the day. You are gonna have windows that you can check out the incredible views as well. 
Now we step down one deck, same exact space. What you're gonna find, this is the study. So you've got a really nice large table here. You're also gonna have a conference style table on the far side. And then you will also have a couple computers that guests can utilize. There's a printer down below. So most of the time this is for printing boarding passes and things along those lines because they do offer complimentary Wi-Fi to use on board. And most guests will bring their own phone, iPad, laptop. So you can utilize that wherever you'd like on the ship. Now I did wanna point out that Americans Cruise Lines does an incredible job with groups, meetings, and incentives. So we've done some great groups with them. We can take over the entire ship if you wanna charter it. That's actually what we're doing right now. Or you can also utilize it if you have a small group of friends, maybe something coming together, you're part of a bird watching group, you love to cook, or maybe you're just wanting to head out with some friends. This is that perfect option for it. And of course, hard travel can help make that a reality. Now one floor further down below the study, you're gonna find the Lyric Lounge. Another really nice, comfortable space. You've got a couple chairs over in the corner. You've got some bench style seatings up against the windows. And you also have a really nice, comfortable sofa here. Now I mentioned earlier on that these three lounges can also be used for embarkation and disembarkation, depending on the port that they're heading into. It's also just a great place to get away, grab a book, and of course, take advantage of the beautiful views. Now, as I mentioned earlier, on the port side of the ship, opposite of the three lounges, you're gonna find a really nice outdoor seating area. You can see they have a couple tables and chairs out here. It's a great place to pop out if you wanna take some pictures or head back in. But really, it's just another area of space that's dedicated to all passengers here on board to lead to some of the best passenger to space ratios in the entire industry. And of course, it's that perfect place to capture those incredible ever-changing river views. So now we're down on deck one in the atrium area. And I wanted to point out that you've got the elevator bank here and it goes up to deck four. It doesn't go all the way up to the sun deck, but you're gonna find that on every river vessel. Now behind me, you've got the stairs. You've got a beautiful nook here where in addition to, of course, having that local experience, they're also gonna bring some seasonality here on board. It is the holiday season. So you can see all the beautiful Christmas trees, the different decorations. And then as they move throughout the year, you're gonna find that those are gonna shift as well. Now I love this sculpture that they have right here in the middle. Of course, being the American Symphony, you've got tribute to some incredible music heritage, not just here in New Orleans, but throughout the destinations that this ship visits. I also wanted to take you right around the corner here to where you're gonna find the guest services area. So I love that they've got the plaque. Once again, it was made in Salisbury, Maryland. And then you're gonna have the guest services area here where they can answer all your questions about money, about your room. They can really take care of all the details for you. So now we've stepped into the restaurant. This is where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day if you're looking for more of a traditional plated style meal. Now the food here is incredible. It's delicious gourmet offerings, and you really need two things to make that happen. One is of course the amazing chefs. They have some of the best in the entire industry. They give their hearts with each and every single dish. But in addition to that, you also need some of the best finely sourced ingredients. One of the things that I've always appreciated about American Cruise Lines is that they really go above and beyond to have regional cuisine done really, really well. So we're traveling to the south here. Of course, they do offer sailings all around the United States, up in Alaska, the Pacific Northwest, the Northeast, and you're gonna find different styles of cuisine in each and every single destination. You're always gonna find your favorites if you want some of those comfort foods, but you're also gonna be able to step out and try brand new things. For me personally, one of the greatest ways to learn about a culture or a people is through their food. And of course, the chefs here are gonna help to connect your brain and your stomach because you're gonna have some incredible food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. And of course, if you have special requests, make sure you let them know in advance. They're sure to go out of their way to make sure your experience is exceptional. Now we're inside the fitness room. So it's on two sides of the ship. There's actually two large spaces here you're gonna find quite a bit of equipment, especially for a ship that holds only up to 180 guests. So you've got two treadmills here, you've got two bikes over on the far side. Wrapped around the corner, you're gonna find different yoga mats. I love that they have these foam rollers. In fact, when I travel, it's always one of the first things I do is to stretch out, go ahead and roll my back out after a nice long flight. Now, right around the corner, as I mentioned, you've got some medicine, medicine balls, kettlebells, things like that. You're also going to have your barbells here and a really awesome pulley machine that allows you to do just about any type of exercise. Let's head next door and see the other side. Now, on the entryway, you're going to find a water dispenser. You also have some towels here. And then as we step in, you've got the mirrors on the far side to do different exercises. You've got a rowing machine, a couple more bikes, two different types elliptical, a couple more treadmills, and then around the corner, you're gonna find kettlebells, once again, medicine balls, all the different mats and 
dumbbells. Now, one of the things that I really appreciate about the design of this particular ship is that, of course, we're in the aft of the ship, which means the engines are just below. So this might not be the most optimal place for all rooms. And I love that instead of what some of their competitors do by putting rooms right here, they've utilized this for the fitness center and they've also been able to utilize it so you can capture those incredible aft facing views. So if you wake up in the morning, you come down and exercise, you can take advantage of the beautiful views. They also have TVs in here in addition to the highly updated equipment. Now just forward of the fitness center, you're gonna find a guest laundry room. So you'll see that you have three washers and three dryers. It is complimentary to utilize as you'd like. And then tucked over the corner, they also are gonna have the laundry detergent. Once again, just a nice little touch. Maybe you wanna do a little bit of laundry because you're doing a longer cruise, or so you head on out with some clean clothes, you can stop by here and utilize as you'd like. Forward on deck two, you're gonna find the bow terrace. So this is a place where you can step out and take advantage of views. Once again, you've got the whole upper deck for that. You also have a private balcony for each and every single room. But one of the things I wanted to point out is you can also utilize this to head down to the deck one corridor. And then right above us is where you're gonna find the river lounge. Now you can see why we love American Cruise Lines. River cruising is exceptional to begin with and they do an amazing job with one of the best passenger space ratios in the entire cruise industry. An amazing set of crew. Of course, beautiful purpose-built ships that they built specifically for the needs of their guests. All of that comes together combined with the hard travel service to craft the perfect cruise vacation for you. And when you're ready to book, make sure you reach out to the experts at hard travel. We know we can help craft that cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.